Hello, everybody. My name is Kador, and welcome to another episode of Subgenres of Noise. In this video, I will be talking about cut up harsh noise. Uh, this subgenre is characterized by frantic and spastic blasts of harsh chaos, constantly varying in timbre. Uh, often elements of glitch music are incorporated, resulting in rapid clicks and volume cutouts, and it can be meticulously composed with tons of post-production edits, or it can be done entirely live by rapidly clicking pedals on and off and using loopers. Whatever the approach, cut up harsh noise is one of the most technically proficient and complex forms of harsh noise out there, and the busy, fast-paced insanity never fails to scratch a certain itch for me. So with that out of the way, let's get into what I consider to be some of the most essential albums in this style. First, we have a various artists compilation called Hard Panning, the ultimate contemporary cut up harsh noise international compilation. Yeah, the title says it all. This is the definitive Cut Up Harsh Noise album, and a must listen for anyone interested in this style. Uh, it features pretty much all the greatest cut up artists you could think of, and they all deliver some of their best material. Expect complex rapid fire blasts and glitches interspersed with expertly crafted atmospheric interludes and some of the most attention to detail you'll ever hear in a noise album. Kazuma Kubota, Utsuroi. Kazuma Kubota fuses together beautiful ambient drones with harsh cut-up noise blasting over top. And this short release, in my opinion, is the best example you can find of this unique genre combo. The ambient backdrop to these tracks are so stunning and evocative, but before long the noise starts creeping in, sometimes more subtle stuttering, fluttering textures, and other times heavy, harsh blasts that completely overtake the ambience before cutting out as quickly as they came in, allowing the gorgeous drone to emerge again. The interplay between these polar opposite moods creates such an engaging, emotionally intense experience. And uh, pretty cool packaging as well. With, uh, it's kind of hand-painted box, and then you get ooh, <laughs> some inserts and the tape inside. Pretty awesome. Tourette, Jardin du Sommet Chant d'Amour sur la Nuit Grandissante. <laughs> I took several years of French in uh, in grade school, and I, I barely remember any of it. I definitely can't pronounce that correctly, and I have no idea what it means. But anyway, uh, in a similar vein as Kazuma Kubota, Tourette mi mixes emotive ambient music with technical blistering cut-up noise. Rather than the Kubota approach of layering a consistent drone underneath the noise, this album has a more progressive feel, transitioning thoughtfully between sections of varying dynamics and sounds. It's clear that tons of time and effort went into this release, and it truly is a beautiful and expertly balanced dance between soothing loops and harsh chaos. John Weiss, Soft Punk. This is one of the most sonically detailed, intricate, complicated noise albums I've ever heard. John Weiss samples rock instrumentation and glitches it out to oblivion, chopping sounds into microseconds long clips and throwing them chaotically around the stereo spectrum. It is very clearly digital noise, far removed from much of the brick wall improvised harsh noise that I discussed in the previous video. And while a lot of harsh noise made on laptops tends to sound too sterile and bland for my tastes, this is an example of someone using software to its fullest extent to make a technically impressive masterwork that is honestly just ear candy on headphones. Sickness. I have become the disease that made me. One of the best examples of pure cut-up harsh noise. Uh, not much else to say about this one that I didn't already mention when describing the genre, but this thing is loud, intense, hyperactive, and thrilling, and Sickness is one of the most consistently quality artists in this style. Kazumoto Endo, While You Are Out. Inarguably the most well-known cut-up noise album, as well as one of the earliest examples of the subgenre. The way Endo samples Japanese pop music, turning it into fun rhythmic loops and clinically injecting it between jagged blasts of noise is brilliant and totally unique to this album as far as I know. The noise itself, while chaotic and complex, includes plenty of silent gaps that help prevent listening fatigue and keep the sound feeling active and unpredictable. Each burst of noise sounds different from the last, while each track is tied together by variations on a single sound that reoccurs throughout it. In other words, this album is perfectly paced and balanced, consistently maintaining a sense of compositional thoroughness, technical mastery, and playful experimentation. An obvious gateway into cut up noise, and one of the most essential harsh noise albums in general. Facial Mess, You Trip Me Up. 
pretty much all facial mess material is top-notch cut-up noise, but this short tape on No Rent really transcends the genre, with menacing industrial drones taking up just as much runtime as the cut-up itself. It sort of predicts the shift in sound he would take when abandoning the facial mess name in favor of his new project Like Weeds a couple years later. But regardless, this is a great entry point into Kenny Sanderson's consistently killer discography. Sewer Election, Torpa Freakin'. Perhaps not entirely cut up, but this album contains some top tier, spastic, chaotic, constantly changing harsh noise. Uh, it also has several well-placed, subdued moments where the heavy stuff transitions to a field recording or an odd rhythmic loop. Very technically impressive ear candy for harsh heads. Uh, Sewer Election has tons of other great material as well, but this is the album I've heard from him that's closest to the cut-up subgenre. Sissy SpaceX Self-Titled This is a band spearheaded by the aforementioned noise legend John Weiss. Uh, their albums take on many different styles, ranging from pure harsh noise, to grindcore, to weird free improv, to glitch out spastic chaos using noise core as source material, which is what this short but amazing release is. Bits of drum, guitar, vocal blasting is looped and stuttered haphazardly, while every shade of harsh noise is thrown at you from all angles. The sound is constantly varied and complex, while never losing that relentless brutality. A very unusual and effective approach to cut up noise. TEF, Consequences and Conversation. Just a really solid example of the style from a long running project that's consistently specialized in it. Rapid fire, complex, stuttering, hi fi blasting with tons of sonic variety that never keeps a given sound going for more than a split second. Alza Galzaga, Enemy of the Future. This is a great compilation from another cut up harsh noise heavyweight. But some of the material on here is more traditional harsh noise style but most of it is overwhelming, spazzed out, cut up chaos. Nothing too unique, I suppose, but it really scratches the itch for this kind of thing, and the analog tape-saturated production keeps everything feeling satisfyingly organic and raw. A fail association. Once, especially once. This short release switches between rapid-fire harsh blasting and slower, churning, looping bits. Similarly to Alzagelziga, this has plenty of sonic variety while maintaining the same satisfying analog fidelity throughout. Breakdancing Ronald Reagan, Neuroscience is Dumb. Breakdancing Ronald Reagan is a legendary harsh noise project, infamous for his over the top performances and the comedic elements of meme culture integrated into his work. Uh, this tape, however, is a relatively serious and focused exercise in excellent cut-up noise, displaying all the technical proficiency and disorienting insanity you'd expect from this subgenre. Boar, Union Park. Boar is one of the greatest cut-up harsh noise artists active today, and he doesn't get nearly enough credit for it. This tape is loaded with delicious textures, spastic switch-ups, and occasional quieter, atmospheric bits to add in some dynamics. And the final album that I want to throw your way today is Tattered Syntax, Alone Gone. Tattered Syntax was a short-lived, cut-up harsh noise project by William Hudson, better known as a member of the experimental rap group Clipping. In his interview on the White Centipede Noise podcast, he mentioned that this album, with the exception of the 14-minute live track, is meticulously composed in post-production, and the rapid cut-up effect is created by splicing different recordings together. This is a prime example of heavily edited cut-up noise, as the sounds on here are precise, vicious, abrasive, heavy, varied, and texturally stimulating all at once. Truly one of the most overlooked releases in this style. And yeah, that is all of the cut-up harsh noise that I wanted to recommend today, and hopefully uh, people who are unfamiliar with the genre now have a pretty good understanding of what it is. Um, I'm going to keep this series going. Uh, I think the next video will be about wall noise. Um, Although there's also multiple different types of wall noise that I will do separate videos on. Anyways, thanks for watching and, uh, you know, subscribe if you want to see more and all that. See ya.